said it was cool. Alrighty, excellent. Extreme Fireman versus EX. I don't know what EX stands for. Elements of xylophones. Extra xylophones, please. What is going on, everybody? My name is PC and Palomino. We are going to jump into our second game versus Extreme Fireman Clan Extre EF Extreme Fireman at the bottom left. Going to spawn as the Red Protoss, guys. If you want, if you want to see Extreme Clan Extreme Fireman to win this tournament. Can I get a round of applause? And if you want to see Krasnikov EX battle it out, duke it out as the green Protoss, can I get a round of applause again? Alrighty, well, the more you know, the less you wonder. The people want both of them to win, apparently, but that's not going to happen because in StarCraft 2, only one player wins in a 1v1. There is no button to just get along. You're yellow, by the way. What's going on, yellow? Pleasure to see you. Um, is Palomino my real name? Palomino is my middle name. My real middle name, which is why I use Palomino. My first name is Luis. L-U-I-S. Alrighty, very interesting, uh, very, very interesting uh, scouting pattern going on for uh, Extreme Fireman USA. Looks like he decided to scout at the top right. She's always, that's always, you know, people do that. It's not uncommon at all. The way some people look at it is I want to get the furthest distance out of the way and then go for the near closer distance. Gateways and assimilators tied up one to one. Looks like good old Krasnikov EX hasn't scouted with his probe yet. It's a very interesting choice we got from both of these players. Second gas going down at just about 17 supply for Krasnikov EX. Not sure exactly what that's going to mean. Would be a little surprised to see and to not see a Stargate going down. Good old EFM USA. Signed to put down his. 17 to 18 probes 20 to 19 supply these players are tied up neck and neck pleasure to see you Sydney Pro Prog Sealer Muppet Nick uh, Jinnyu X Pep Jr. Sacrificial Probe pleasure to see you guys chatting it away in the chatmosphere love it love it love it let's see what we're gonna see next the second pylon is down two gases are taken for both players and here again we see this interesting we see this uh, this consistently in these games where a player decides to only put uh, two guys two probes on the gas let's see if we have two probes on any of these gases we do not three probes on those gases let's uh, look at the mineral intake we are at 620 six see if it makes you can see a slight differentiation as good old EFM USA is getting a little bit more gas while good old Karisnikov you would imagine is getting a little more money so it is a, it is a trade-off as both these players aren't saturated on one base yet it is actually a trade-off now we do have the Stargate going down a little pylon here very interesting Karisnikov might be a little worried about a 4-gate coming towards him we have we did see FM USA before he uh, he did a uh, did he I think he was no actually Karistikov was the one who expanded. Now we're gonna see the Stargate and the robotics facility both warping in from ire. Little, little stalker looks like he is gonna take out that take out that poor little probe. Now Karistikov EX hasn't been able to scout his opponent, so right now Karistikov is really in the dark. Racism, and he's uh. And he's got to he's got to kind of and he's going to depend on this phoenix to go ahead and give him all the information he wants and he is going to be able to get all the information he wants. Scary little stalker right here. Not sure what he was up to. Just checking out, making sure there's no expansion, no units getting ready for an expansion. But with one with two stalkers and one sentry out on the field, there's no way that uh, EFM USA can deny the phoenix scout. Looks like this pro almost wanted to put down a Nexus and has decided to officially put down the Nexus. That is a 6 minute and 40 second Nexus off of 
two gates and a robo that is just about to warp in as another stalker warps in. We are now at, we are now at 41 supply at just about seven minutes into the game and also almost identical timing is this is the nexus for good old Karistikov. So it looks like we might we might turn in we might see a uh, we might end up seeing a macro game from these two for game number two in this best of five. First player to three wins will take the gold. Full scout going down. Observer popping out to get his own scout in. Kristenkov does not have an observer him for himself quite yet. I don't believe so. No observer in his army yet, so this observer is going to be free to uh, to roam the base. EFM USA saying always, always with the Phoenix. Really? You like Phoenix, huh? Looks like we are going to get one probe, one probe down, two probes down, three probe down, four probes are down for the for the merry price of about 30 hit points on one Phoenix as their uh, as their energy will go ahead and get healed back up momentarily. Looks like this uh, observer just popped and is going to go ahead and take care of EFM USA's only observer. Always a pain in the butt, which will tie up this uh, this robo if he wants to make another one. No immortal for you, or at least it will be delayed a little bit. All right, the expansion is up. Four gates and one robotics facility. Chrono Boost is going down on the probes as these Phoenix are making sure that good old EFM USA doesn't have these. He doesn't have these uh, these towers, and also he doesn't. He also he's going to be able to use these Phoenixes to take out some more probes and make sure that no proxy pylons or probes are going to go unspotted. Taking out two more probes for the price of about 70, 80, 90, 20 more hit points. Looking good, looking good. These these uh, phoenixes are being extremely cost effective. Big pack of stalkers hanging out at the natural. Four stalkers now hanging out in the main. That should be more than enough to go ahead and uh, defend these guys. All right, let's see. Some more hit points going down, but right now Karishnikov is able to also. Uh, also scout his opponent here almost losing a Phoenix though no uh, no Twilight to speak of right now good old Krishnikov getting his macro on here looks like we are gonna see one more gate gonna turn this into a three gate and now the Colossus tech is going down he's seen his army's co his opponent's composition which is stalkers however he does know the stalkers don't have blink I would think because he hasn't seen the Twilight anywhere and uh, I think I think he just wants to get a leg up on the Colossus battle, perhaps. Phoenix is being very annoying here. I want to look at this probe count in any minute now. Ooh, wow, those Phoenixes really take out those take out those probes so fast. Still not losing a single Phoenix and taking out some probes. We're at 35 to 40. Now, Karistikov has taken out more than five probes. He's taking a six, seven, eight, nine. He's taking out at least ten probes. But we do see that uh, EFM USA is using his Chrono Boost on his probes, and is staying pretty darn close in the worker count here. And one soccer is going to go down at the price of a Phoenix Immortal on his way. However, right now, Karistikov is going to have a large lead in the Colossus battle. Second robotics facility is now going up, and the saturation for both players is looking mighty, mighty fine. However, very interesting. EFM USA opting not to take his gases yet. We'll allow him to put in more gateways if he wants to. And there is the Twilight, actually. Twilight is here. Blink is on the way. Um, I think EFM USA is seeing the same amount of Phoenixes. He knows Krishnikov isn't dedicating to some kind of weird mass Phoenix build. He does know that some tech is going on in the background as this poor little probe looks like he is going to make uh oh wow wow what are the chances of that beautiful pathing here but it looks like the phoenixes are a little too fast for their own good as this pylon is going to be able to get put down looks like EFM USA considering he has to take in this these two gases he might be uh working towards a, uh, a big push right now now Karishnikov double robos double colossus in the production as we do see on the minimap, EFM USA moving out towards his opponent. One proxy pylon is down, the second one is down, and the third one is on its way. These Phoenix is scouting. Ooh, and a boot. And these units are moving forward, but right now Kristikov has a nice placement with his observer. I don't think we still have any observers for EFM USA. This observer does see this push coming right now. Kristikov can go ahead and uh, position himself to deal with this a large stalker army right now 
These stalkers could blink forward. Is there an immortal? There is one immortal that will be able to put in some damage here. Two force fields looking like a pair of boobs or a pair of balls or two little eyes poking out from the ground. It looks like he is going to get vision. Are we going to see the blink forward? The Colossus are shooting down to the ground. However, these stalkers are in range to go ahead and uh, try and uh, snipe down these Colossus. But oh, so many stalkers are going down to these, these immortals. Mortals and sentries aren't able to quite engage. Poor Zealots aren't able to engage either here. And it looks like Krishnikov is going to take this, this win here. A tricky engagement. Always a bit scary to blink into Colossus. His force field is actually working against Krishnikov, holding his players back. Uh, it does look like the Phoenix Count is looking still healthy. One, Colossus is able to tell the story. His three other, his two little brothers, unable to do the same. That is going to be the second game. Wait, isn't that the first game? No, that's the second game, yeah. Yeah, meh. 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 Second game. Meh.